herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Stanley Parable. Wir sind jetzt hier... Oh, meine, meine Dingesaufnahme läuft schon. Ähm, wir sind jetzt hier zurück und ich lade jetzt hier das, das Spiel da, wo wir getötet wurden. Loading, 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 loading. Mal gucken, ob es macht. Ich hoffe es mal. Ah, so, und weiter geht's. Und dieses Mal zur Mind Control Facility. Oh mein Gott. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Äh, ja, immer doch. Geil gebaut, ganz ehrlich. Richtig geil. Oh nee, kommt schon. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true oh. nature revealed. Ah. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Da oben bin ich beim letzten, in der letzten Aufnahme gelandet und da hat er dann immer das Game neu gestartet. Äh, das darf ich auch nicht sagen. Äh, übrigens, holt euch das Game selber, wenn ihr alle Wege sehen wollt. Es gibt immer mehrere Wege und, äh, ja. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? 247 war es doch, oder? Nein! Irgendwo da oben. Two four. Da! Employee 247. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Hmm. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Denk mal. Ah, Mano. Kann hier mal drauf drücken. Oh. Komm, wirf die Konsole an. Huh. Powerknopf. Mind Control Offline. Ja, wirf sie doch an. Da. Da ist er. Fünf. Macht doch nichts. Oh mein Gott. Was war denn da? Ich kann's nicht lesen. Man auch. When at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Wir machen's ganz einfach. Ich möchte euch beide Wege zeigen. Und äh, hat das jetzt. Gut, ähm, was machen wir zuerst? <lacht> Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. 
He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. <sighs> it's never the end, it's never the end, it's never the end, it's never the end. Oh, loading. <sighs> ich wollte doch nach hinten gucken. <sighs> Es könnte sein, dass die Aufnahme gerade abschmiert. Hm. Wir nehmen wieder auf. Hm. Hm. <lacht> All of his coworkers were Ach nee, komm. Gut, äh, dann machen wir jetzt noch schnell das an, oder? Geht ja schnell. Zeige ich euch sogar ein paar Endings. Off. Nein, Scheiß. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yeah. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. That's If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. 
Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock, why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's awesome. just seconds ticking away to your death. You're awesome. only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, er hat wieder irgendwas. So, und ich hoffe euch, dass euch dieses Video Spaß gemacht hat und wir sehen uns dann in der nächsten Folge. Und wenn euch das Video richtig gut gefallen hat, dann haut ich einen kleinen blöden, nicht blöden, Like-Button. So richtig, aber lieb, okay? Nicht tot machen. Äh, ja, und wenn ihr mehr Videos von uns sehen wollt, gebt uns ein Abo und wenn ihr auf jeden Fall sagt, boah, diese Cam hier, die ist so kacke, dann schreibt in die Kommentare, Hashtag... Ohne Cam oder wenn es euch richtig gefällt, sagt Hashtag mit Cam. Ähm, ich möchte einfach was mehr in den Kommentaren sehen. Ich hoffe, dass ihr mir da mal ein bisschen was Unterstützung gibt. Und ja, ich würde sagen, bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschö. Na, Mist. Irgendwas stimmt hier nicht. Ja, wie wär's denn mal mit dem Klopfen?